All right, let's do this thing again. Today we have more celebs and more fragrances from GQ's hit YouTube series, 10 Things I Can't Live Without. Got lots to get through here. We got some funny takes apparently, so let's get to it. Roll intro, roll video. This one is Chanel. This is actually what I got on right now. The other one that I've been using a lot of recently is this like Versace one. Firstly, we have platinum selling rapper and singer, The Kid Leroy, and his 100ml Chanel Allure Homme Spore O Extreme, as well as his 100ml Versace Pour Homme Dylan Blue. I swear to God, these fragrance names are too long. But yeah, as far as the fragrances themselves, I would say that O Extreme is definitely a yummy version of the initial Allure Homme Spore from Chanel. Here you turn down the citrus and aldehydic opening that Chanel was mainly known for, but then in place of that, you turn up the tonka bean in the base and everything else cozy about this scent. Dylan Blue, on the other hand, is Versace themselves throwing their name into the hat of blue scents. This one resembling Sauvage the most with its own bergamot and ambroxan notes. However, I would say that this one is particularly unique with its heavy use of the note of patchouli as well, which I think is definitely weird for compliment magnets today because depending on how it's done, patchouli could really kill the fragrance for a lot of people. But again, that is definitely not the case here. Most people love this stuff. Just like my shades, um, I have a ton of cologne at home. I have like hella ones that's just like sitting in the box. I mean, that's how you know you have too many fragrances. I know Kid Leroy has this more fortunate, more lavish lifestyle, but if you don't, definitely watch your spending, of course. I'm kind of a cologne freak. I don't know. I, I like I like smelling good. I like, you know, <laughs> I like the, oh, hey, what's up? Hey, you doing? They're like, oh, man, yeah, like you, you smell good. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. It, make, it makes me feel, it makes me feel better about myself. Yeah, for sure. We all love compliments, don't we? Compliments are like haircuts. You did none of the work, but you get all of the credit. Like with a haircut, I guess you might have to style your hair if need be. And with a frag, I guess the only work you have to do is spray it and hopefully you showered beforehand. I actually have a funny story, though, about a cologne that's one of my favorites that I actually don't have because I ran out of it the other day. It's this YSL cologne. I wonder which YSL this is. I was going to my girlfriend's house one day and like she has a security at the front of her house, right? And the security's there and he's like, he's like, hmm. I'm like, oh, what's up, man? He's like, um, is that YSL? And he like named the exact cologne that I was wearing and I was like, oh, shit, how'd you know? And he's like, yeah, he's like, and he told me he's like this like fucking cologne connoisseur or some shit. And I was like, yo. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? This fragrant lifestyle is definitely catching on more and more now. And I'm talking about it on a non-casual level where your mom or girlfriend bought you whatever fragrances you're wearing. I'm talking real lifestyle shit. You're reading reviews, you're checking out videos on YouTube, that sort of thing. So real hardcore hobbyist stuff. There's just more of us now. So good notes on the security. And I presume that the YSL that Kid Leroy is trying to remember had to be one that had a long, maybe convoluted name, yet is still still notable enough with projection that the security guy could actually pick it out in the air. So I'll presume it's a sweet, spicy, warm, and aromatic Landui de Lomme, but let me know in the comments which fragrance you think it actually is. So Kid Leroy, if you're watching, if the words Landui de Lomme sounds kind of familiar, let me know in the comments. And yeah, if you too want to smell like the Kid Leroy here, a 100ml of Chanel Allure Homme Spore O Extreme retails for 132 US dollars, and a 100ml of Versace Pour Homme Dylan Blue retails for 96 US dollars. Now sure you are spending extra for the Chanel prestige and or quality and don't get me wrong the quality is definitely in that scent. But what's nice about that Dylan Blue is that while already less than the Chanel it's one that you can get for even cheaper on gray market websites. And lately and historically you can get this thing for nearly half the price off which is awesome. So definitely one of the better deals on the net just save save save. Noodle -o. Obviously, you see I've used up most of it because this stuff is awesome. Now, speaking of Lanui, there it is. Yes, it is awesome. Dude is not lying. This is actor, watchmaker, and watch designer Aldous Hodge with his 100ml YSL Lanui de Lum, of course. So again, very sweet, spicy, warm, and aromatic, most characterized by cardamom and lavender notes. The lavender, instead of providing this chill and aromatic vibe, is more warm and enveloping. And yeah, it's just furthermore accentuated with the cardamom here, which I still love to this day. It is terribly difficult to find a cologne 
that works with your whole body. Like people don't realize you can't just spray on something that's gonna smell good on everybody. It mixes with your natural scents, metabolically creating a whole new scent. While there is some truth to this as far as skin chemistry goes, I still think that scents are relatively more consistent across the board. Like again, there will be definitely some nuances that will be more accentuated on different skin chemistries more than others. Like for me, I noticed that sweeter scents tend to bang off me more often. But yeah, I feel like if La Nuit was sprayed on five different people, for example, I feel like the security guard would be able to pick it out from those five people every single time. Just saying. And some folks, walk around here feeling good feeling like they smelling fresh they just be stanking okay i hope that my man is not running into that many people not showering and still spraying definitely gross definitely a no-no we definitely do not do that on this channel your fragrance will not supersede your bo if anything your bo will just make your fragrance and or everything else smell worse me when i tried this on i found my spot my place and i was like oh this is it this is hidden this is my goal and hey, I'm glad that Aldis found the one. I feel that way about Byredo Gypsy Water, and if it wasn't for me making fragrance content, I swear I would rotate through things a lot less and mainly wear this a lot. But yeah, whether you're mainly a signature scent guy and or like to rotate scents, as long as you are wearing ones that you genuinely like, then more power to you. And if you also want to smell like Aldis Hodge, a 100ml YSL La Nuit de Lom retails for 99 US dollars with potential to get it marked down on the gray market for 10 to 12 dollars off so again save 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 if you must my ysl cologne smell good smell fresh smell player for real did my man just quote you don't have to call don't leave your girl around me true player for real oh man <laughs> i can't be the only one who thought of that track just there but maybe i'm just old but yeah, this is gold selling rapper OGZ and his 100 ml ysl lom so this is the first scent from ysl to bear the Lom name. And while La Nuit de Lom is more seductive, more dark, and more quote-unquote mysterious, Lom, in my opinion, is definitely the opposite. It's much brighter, it's a daytime scent, if you will. Very uplifting with the citrusy spicy accord of both bergamot and ginger. And I know my homie Gent Sense always says it, but yeah, citrus and ginger is just a compliment cheat code. So yes, Lom, very, very pleasant to this day, no doubt about it. I'm not a big cologne wearer, so... This is the first one I ever got, and I think I keep buying this over and over. Now, while variety is a spice of life, again, just wear what you like. It's okay to like or just wear one scent. But if you've yet to try others, I would definitely suggest you do so because the fragrance journey is way more fun when you do. Who knows? Maybe OGZ could rotate through a few of them, like Kid Leroy earlier. I'm not into wearing cologne, but I'm, I'm into smelling good, so I keep just buying this same YSL one. So if anyone got any suggestions, Anything else I should get, man, let me know. I don't know what else to get, but this will get us Okay, so that's what's up. My man is actually receptive to some suggestions, but what I wanna do is throw this out to you, so tell me in the comments. Knowing my man is looking for something not too adventurous because he's not too into cologne, what would you recommend to him if he already likes Lom? Again, let me know in the comments. What I think I would recommend is the much more recent YSL Y Eau de Toilette. Still a sweet citrusy opening, but a fresher, more ozonic type of scent. And you can use this for as many occasions and moods that you would likely use Lom for and still not feel out of place with. So Y is my suggestion, but if you just want to smell like OGZ yourself, a 100 ml Lom also retails for 99 US dollars. But again, you can also get Lom on the gray market, just like La Nuit, for also around 10 to 12 dollars off too. Again, save that money. I'm a huge fan of perfumery fragrances. There's a few that I continuously buy. One of them, uh, La Labo Centile 33, really classic. Now lastly, we have actor and presenter Henry Golding with his 50ml La Labo Centile 33. And Golding is definitely not wrong. Centile 33 is definitely a niche classic at this point with its more aggressive, darker, dirtier take on the note of a traditionally creamier sandalwood. You also have some more greener notes there to help it punch through the air more. So yeah, it's definitely a subversive take on the note of sandalwood. And if you've ever been in metropolitan areas, most notably NYC, it's definitely a common scent that you will find just sniffing out with people walking around in this. But my list, I've, I've literally got like three, three on my hit list. Uh, many from Frederick Mal, who's a uh, Parisian perfumer. Number one, Portrait of a Lady. 
Uh, number two, Musk Ravageur. Whoa, Henry, where did this come from? Frederick Mao, if you don't know this brand, is known for their high quality yet high budget perfumes. Typically very classic smelling perfumes at that as well. And what I particularly like about this brand is that they advertise in such a way that credits their perfumers, credits them like authors, and he's kind of like a publisher or a quote unquote perfume publisher. So I think that's pretty cool. It's pretty cute. And these two that he mentioned are among their best sellers. That's Musk Ravageur and Portrait of a Lady. Portrait being a smoky, spicy, big rose patchouli, and Musk Ravageur being a sweeter, warmer, much more aggressive animalic take on a musk. My fourth must have on the list is uh, Tom Ford Black Orchid, as well as Neroli. It always kind of reminds me of the times of of traveling in like Positano and places like that with the scent of orange blossom in the air, so. Holy crap, this list was already expensive, yet he keeps going. Black Orchid is awesome. I've covered it dozens of times on this channel. It's a richer, dare I say it, bad bitch type of scent. So a very bold take on the note of orchid with nuances like patchouli and chocolate to make it smell a little bit yummier. And the Neroli I think he was going for was Neroli Portofino, a straightforward citrus floral done to the highest degree. Very juicy, very uplifting and reminiscent to Portofino or Positano like Golding said. However, Tom Ford also has another scent called Soleil de Positano, which is also under the Neroli Portofino line. I always kind of match my perfumes to the day, the evening, whatever it is. So Santal is much more of a day smell. Frederick Marl, Portrait of a Lady, much more of an evening. Have yourself a good collection. These are fairly expensive, but you don't use them all too much if they are strong. Okay, my man does not miss. I totally agree with matching the mood and or the performance of the scent to the time of day, or in my case, year. Like for example, I wouldn't walk around with the aforementioned Neroli Portofino in my Canadian winters. If I go outside five minutes later, I will totally forget that I sprayed it. That's how fleeting that shit is. And on the flip side, I wouldn't wear the aggressive Santal 33 to the beach. So yeah, do what Henry says here. I think fragrance is much more fun if you do it this way. My wife, made this, but it has Liv and Lila with a little heart uh, for Henry, which uh, she gave to me when I was away for a solid month. So every time, every morning I would spray and I'd kind of look at that message. Okay, that's really cute. I wish my loved ones got me custom Lalabos for various occasions. So this part is really cool if you are into making your fragrance experience a more sentimental one, as Lalabo is known for allowing you to customize your label either online or in store for no charge. And I do recommend that you do this at a desk or boutique if one is reachable for you, because that experience is truly like none other. You get to see the staff print a label, stick it, fill the bottle, bind the atomizer, put a lid on it, box it up, relabel that. That. So I think that's cool. And as someone who's worked in sales, the more you can curate the process, the better. It's not just selling a good quality product, but the service as well. And trust me, this is also why Lalabo has a lot of return customers. Santal for me, um, very kind of a little bit spicy, wooden. I'm gonna get it all wrong, oud and, and that kind of jazz. I don't know all the buzzwords, but I know it smells great and a lot of people love this. I better send me some free perfumes after this. A for effort in trying to describe this, Henry. It's not easy even for me. It is not oud but sandalwood if anything and it's in the name of course. But yeah, regardless, Henry Golding did a great job in opining on fragrance as a whole and revealing his wish list. For that, he is this video's MVP, so shout outs to him. And if you too also want to smell like Henry Golding, a 50ml bottle of Lalabo Santal 33 retails for 215 US dollars. So definitely not cheap, especially when Lalabo has such a tight hold of their product distribution that you typically can't find these marked down on on the gray market. But again, I encourage you to actually trek out to a Lalabo if you are totally set on one of their fragrances. And there it is yet again. Thank you for sticking around this long. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed these fragrances and these celebs. What do you think though? Do you have a favorite celeb and or fragrance here? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, please subscribe if you have yet to already. We're on a train to 30,000 subscribers, so climb aboard, please. Until the next one, thank you again for watching. Take care for now. Peace out. Bye. My name is Manny. Wear your fragrances.